invented in the late 1930s, the television has revolutionized communication and paved the way to advances in the entertainment and information distribution industries. It has sparked a whole new industry of its own and has been a major contributor to globalization and lightning fast communication across the world. Now, we're not going to identify this contestant panel because to identify him would be to tip off his secret. We will call him simply Dr. X. Now, Doctor, if you will whisper your secret to me, we will show it at the same time to the folks out there. Philo T. Farnsworth, an American inventor, was the first in the original to invent the electronic television. In August 19, 1906, he was born in Beaver, Utah. When he was 11 years old, his family moved to Rigby, Idaho. Once in Idaho, Philo and his family worked a lot in the potato fields. One day, as he was plowing the fields, he thought of the idea that an electron beam could scan across the screen in the same way. This became the basis for the idea of slow scan television. Slow scan television is a device that allows you to transmit or receive static pictures via radio signals. Slow scan television was the first prototype of the TV that we know and love today. Right now, slow scan TV is used ma mainly by amateur radio operators as a means of communication over images. Television's production was interrupted by World War II. But during the war, television was used to broadcast newsreels sent back from the front lines. The 1940s was the decade which the first public broadcasting company aired. This was NBC, otherwise known as the National Broadcasting Company. After the war ended, this allowed the production of TVs to spark. By 1949, 100,000 television sets were produced every week. In the 1950s, television became the dominant mass media as more people brought television into their homes a greater number of hours per week than ever before. Also occurring in the 1950s, the number of homes in the U.S. that owns a television set reaches the 1 million. The 1960s were a very important decade in the development of television. I am happy to join with you today in what will go down in history as the greatest demonstration for freedom in the history of our nation. In the 1960s, Martin Luther King gave his famous I Have a Dream speech, which was broadcasted on air across the world. This broadcast played a major role in the fight for human rights. Another large important broadcast that happened in the 1960s was the assassination of John F. Kennedy. This broadcast helped in the investigation of the causes of the assassination of JFK. Also occurring in the 1960s, the birth of Sesame Street, the first educational program on TV for children. In 1969, the Apollo astronauts made their famous moon landing, all of which was broadcast on television. John F. Kennedy and Richard Nixon gave their presidential debate on television. Not only was this the first time that it was done so, it's also the first time that the network used split screen.
The 70s saw a significant change in television, doing away with family-oriented sitcoms and bringing in new hip and urban-style TV shows. Channels such as ESPN and Nickelodeon were launched, as well as game shows such as The Wheel of Fortune and Price is Right, as well as comedy shows such as SNL and MASH. Color TV became a permanent fixture in cable television. Cigarette ads were also banned from being shown on television. In the 1980s, 50% of U.S. homes have cable. On August 1st, 1981, MTV, the music television channel, began broadcasting with these words. We've gone for main engine start. We have main engine start. Ladies and gentlemen, rock and roll. VCRs became popular in the 1980s, and for the first time, allowing people at home to record their shows and watch them later. We are one people, with one will, one resolve, one cause. Our enemies shall talk themselves to death, and we will bury them with their own confusion. We shall prevail. On January 24th, Apple Computer will introduce Macintosh. And you'll see why 1984 won't be like 1984. During the 1984 Super Bowl, Apple released a commercial for their new computer, Macintosh. It was so significant, it only had to air once on TV, and it still made a giant impact on the purchases of personal computers in that age. In the 1980s, Fox was launched and it also aired a new show, The Simpsons, which is the longest-running cartoon show in history. In the 1990s, 98% of all households had cable television. Among the broadcasting in the 90s, infomercials made their debut. These commercials take advantage of the impulsive buyer, and some are up to a half an hour long. Also in the 90s, the satellite dish was invented. This offered a choice from traditional cable. These satellite dishes offered the freedom of having over-the-air broadcasting while keeping the same quality as the digital transmissions using cable. Another revolutionary aspect of the 90s would be the invention of the liquid crystal display or LCD TV. This allowed people to have better picture quality and a larger screen in a smaller space. Well, there you have it, the history of TV in a nutshell. From a small farm boy's invention in Idaho to a multi-million dollar industry that has really impacted society as a whole.